G'day guys, welcome to me lab. Now in this very short video, I'm gonna show you how to add sound effects to your player attack, or really a sound effect to any sort of in-game action that you might wanna have in Godot 4. We're gonna be using an ARPG as part of my Zero to Zelda series, but this will work for anything that you're doing in Godot 4. Let's jump straight into it. All right, so if you have been following along with the entire series, then you'll have a script that does look a lot like this one, but it doesn't matter. Like, just pay attention to where we're doing things if you aren't following along, and this will still be helpful for you too. So what we need to do, I've got my players, or uh, the character uh, script open in front of me here, and I've gone down to where I've got my input event. So when I hit the space bar to make my player attack. So this is where we're gonna add some code. But first, we need to add a new node to our player. So in your player scene, you wanna um, have your, your player's root node selected, click on the plus sign. And what we wanna do is have a, um, we wanna have a audio, stream player 2d there it is there so we're going to create that that gives us this audio stream player 2d which we can then have a look in our inspector we can add a file to stream so the file i've got is um because i'm sticking with my aussie theme is uh this little oi and what i'll do is i'll throw that up on, in the usual places as well so you can get access to the exact same sound but this just fits my theme so we're going to attack uh, enemies with our thong and we're going to say oi as we're doing it so let's now that i've dragged that into my file explorer i'm going to drag that up to that stream spot that's in there now so we now we have an audio stream player we have the file that we want to play when we um uh, do our attack. So the next thing is to add our code and all we need to do is one line and there it is there. So we're going to call that audio stream player 2d dot play. So in our input event, we're saying if action pressed UI select. So if we press the space bar and is attacking equals true and our attack timer is zero, uh, sorry, set the attack timer to zero, play the, uh, the file that we just put in there. So if we now um, test it, let's click on play. Let's click on start. And if I hit my space bar, you can hear every time. And next time I will show you how to make a health boost collectible that your player can find to recover some of that health they've lost. All right, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.